Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy High School is dedicated to the formation of tomorrow's leaders through a Roman Catholic experience that provides excellence in atmosphere, academics, the arts, and athletics. Our vision is to be one of the most innovative, influential, and accomplished Roman Catholic schools in the nation. Today is March 31st, Wednesday of Holy Week. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord God, give us strength, we pray, to walk faithfully with Jesus, even when the road we walk is rocky, even when the message of the cross seems like foolishness, and even when we feel betrayed. You, Lord, are always faithful. We stumble, we become lost, but you are steady and sure. Give us the grace to endure our troubles and reveal to us the glory of your kingdom through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's schedule is I through C with Mass for Juniors and Seniors during I period. Today's lunch is barbecue chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes, ham croquetta, and mixed vegetables. The following players were selected to the Sun Sentinel All County team. Congratulations, Lady Mavericks, Kimmy Cover, Lily Katz, and Sophia Getz, who made the first team, Issa Berlage, and Jasmine Herrera, who made second team. An honorable mention goes to Adriana Duque, Jessica Gonzalez, Paloma Pena, and Bella Rocco. Great job, ladies. What's up Mavs? I'm Christian Rosado and welcome back to another Mavs Sports Minute. To start things off, we want to congratulate the Lady Mavericks softball team for defeating Gulliver Prep 2-0. Alyssa Confessor earned the win with an amazing performance on the mound, striking out 7 batters over 7 innings and allowing 0 runs. Great offensive work by Alyssa Confessor and Olivia Jimenez who had a double in the second inning that drove in 2 runs. Way to go Lady Mavs! We would also like to congratulate our girls varsity lacrosse team for defeating Cardinal Gibbons 9-7. Regan Cruz led the way with 6 goals while Christina Fardales scored 2 goals and Kenny Jackson scored 1 goal. Kenny Jackson and Caroline Klusner also managed to assist on 3 goals. Once again, great job Lady Mavs! Over in the NFL, it has reportedly been announced that the league will be expanding its regular season to 17 games. Back in February, the league considered making this change as well as reducing the number of preseason games from 4 to 3. The typical 16 game season has been in effect since 1978, so it will be interesting to see how it plays out next season. Heading on over to the NBA, the past week has just been insane for NBA fans. To keep it brief, Nikola Vucevic was traded to the Chicago Bulls, Aaron Gordon was traded to the Denver Nuggets, Victor Oladipo was traded to the Miami Heat. LaMarcus Aldridge signed with the Brooklyn Nets, and Andre Drummond signed with the Los Angeles Lakers. For Miami, acquiring two-time All-Star Victor Oladipo is a big step forward in the team's push for a consecutive Finals appearance. It will be interesting to see how these trades shake up the race for the Larry O'Brien Trophy. That's all for today's Mavs Sports Minute. I'm Christian Rosado, and I'll see you next time.